Hi everyone, it's Gail, and if I'm not mistaken, it's Scrappy Saturday. So we are going to work on my little hospital packet and, and collaging and just just have us a little bit of a laid back video and and get this on, get this start little project started. So hi and hugs first to Linda, Celeste, Catherine, and Hildegun. Hildegun's from Norway. So thank you all so much for watching and your comments. And yeah, let's do this thing. So since this is just going to be for me, I thought I'm going to use up I'm going to use up scraps for the most part. I think. Um, so I have all my scrappy bits uh, in my large, medium, and small size. <laughs> So I have those here. I also brought over, I have my digitals, the little um, thing with my digitals in it. And then I also brought over my Roxy Creations file because I thought, who do I have the most, <laughs> most print out, uh, most uh, digitals printed out? And it's definitely Roxy Creations. So I'll use some of those too. And I thought about gessoing this because it's, um, you know, it's a bit shiny, a bit smooth. But then I thought, you know, I'm, I, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and collage it and then I'll Mod Podge over the top of it, I think is what I'm going to do. So, I think where I'd like to start is just getting this inner part right here covered. So, uh, one of the things I thought I'd like to use, I, um, I'm digging in my, my own file here, is um, some from my French ephemera kit. Um, let's see. What else do I have printed from that kit? Hopefully something. Oh yeah, here they are. Got them. Almost got them. Not quite. Got them. Okay, and here's a couple of pieces that I've already torn out of, but yeah, so maybe that's good for now there. The other thing I was thinking of using is, I don't know what I have from my collage kit, but maybe a piece of that. Okay. So, hope everybody's having a great Saturday so far. I, um, I am having a good day. I have gotten some gotten some video uh, I did a patreon video this morning and so that was good and then I wanted to get my YouTube video done and oh, oh that's interesting okay uh, this is really interesting paper I don't I'm not sure what it is I got it from a uh, coffee dyed from Emily at vintage polka dot shop oh thanks for going over by the way and um going over and looking at her journal kits i think they went pretty quickly yeah that that was just absolutely an awesome um idea because boy did she put together some cool kits so of course now that's a uh, upcoming uh, on my upcoming project list of course so yeah my upcoming project list is as long as my arm as you well know just just can't just can't get enough done so um so yesterday it was fun my daughter stopped by she's here for a wedding which I talked to you about earlier, but um, yeah, so she's here for this wedding. She's staying with a friend because she's worried about her dad and I. And so, but I was thrilled to death because she did come over. We 
had a chat six feet apart on the patio with masks on. <laughs> uh, so weird, but, um, and no hugs, which kills me, but we did that and um, it was great to j just chat and kind of catch up on her family stuff and whatever. So I'm kind of feeling like putting one of these sort of in the middle or something. I don't know. This is an interesting flat because it's got folds, you know, so that as it gets big, it can round. So I might try and make that refold too. I don't know. I have no idea what I want to do, guys. None at all. None at all. Just, just thinking. I'd like a few things. You know, what I actually might do is just tear this down and go the length, the length of this, like that. Okay. There's a the start. Guess I better get my glue book just moved my mat so now I have to stay within my washi tape you know so I've got my heater on you can probably hear it um don't want to pull up my sleeves but I'm going to because they'll get gluey but uh yeah it it is so cold it we had uh rain showers last night and stuff and it's just it's just cold my husband said, I'm dressed like it's winter. And I said, I know. Gosh. So we went from 100 degrees to 60 or something. I don't know. Very weird weather. Okay, I'm just going to pop that in the folder. You going to lay flat for me? I think so. Oh, see, I think that's going to stick just fine. That's going to be just fine. Okay, that's a little bit long. So, or I put it on crooked. That's probably what happened. Let me just give that a snip and maybe I can rip it. I have no fingernails, so that sort of thing is difficult. Okay. Okay, that's better. I just didn't want it to bind up the gusset. <laughs> Nobody wants to be bound up. That's that's the truth of that. Okay, maybe I'll just go like right there with that. I think I want to, sorry guys, but I think I want to give a, give a little ink in there. ink every single piece but here and there I might okay I have a hair tickle in my nose <laughs> this, is, this is quite the quite the process here it seems that I'm running out of glue stick I have to grab another one I do believe I have one at the ready so yeah We are just, you know, staying inside, kind of, because it's chilly. I think Mike will probably go out and do something here a little bit. Okay, I need something florally, so let's first look at this. My, my big old mess of a... Or, some music would be nice, but I thought I saw in here. Did I not? Maybe it's in the other one. It must be in the other one. This little guy. I thought I saw some stuff here at the back. That. Oh, this is all from my altered book. These are the leftover bits the altered book so 
so I would like to use scraps where I can. What with it being Scrappy Saturday and all, you know. So let's see what we have in this pile that might speak to us here. I'm sorry, I kind of had this, I bet you, out of camera because it's pushing me off my desk because see how long it is? Okay. So I'm looking maybe for something across there, which that could be nice. So what, oh, I do like that. I do like that. But it's not going to go quite the whole way. Could go down there with a strip, though. Okay. And I don't want to cover... Let's get that edge off of this first. Yeah, so what else do I have to tell you? Mm, I don't have a lot of news. Oh, here's some sad news. <laughs> yeah, not that it's sad news that I want to share with you necessarily, but, you know, whatever news you have. But, yeah, my friend that... Uh, in September, we normally have a retreat, and uh, so she was messaging everybody, what do you think, and I said, well, you know, you guys do what you want, but I won't be there, because, you know, I just, just can't, just can't risk it. I mean, if I'm not seeing my kids... I'm not going to go on a retreat with out of town. So, you know, that just doesn't seem responsible to me. So I'm not going to do it. So, but it's sad. I mean, I miss those guys. I want to see them and everything. But, but, you know, if we just... Do what we have to do here for a little bit. Maybe we'll be able to get back to a norm with things like that sooner than later. I'm hoping by spring. Fingers crossed for vaccine and everything. Life returns somewhat to normal. But yeah, so. Yeah, in September it will have been a full year since I've been to my my beloved retreat house. Oh, that's going to be so fun. I think that's going to um, still fold just fine. Okay. So I have this big old piece of music. at that strip down the side and going, hmm, what to what to put there? The wrong side. I've got a if I could hate to goober up that butterfly, so I don't think I'll use that. What else do I have? Ooh, I could use that. Don't mind if I do. Gonna get some scraps used up, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents. I have some awesome gents as well. I feel like I'm about to sneeze, but it won't come. <coughs> oh, there it is. Thank you. Yeah, I have to use both hands because I have to <laughs> hold, in, hold in my guts as well as cover my mouth. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, so, so Jimmy was super excited that my daughter was here. Um, but my daughter, you know, she's here for a wedding. She's got a lot of stuff to do for it. She looked so cute. She was wearing white pants and stuff. So we had to put the harness on Jimmy and hold him back from going to jump on her because she had white pants on. <laughs> so, yeah, he was like, but, 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 <laughs> I want to see her. I know, Jimmy, I know. Okay, I'm kind of thinking I might go with a something across there and then a patch, a patch. It's kind of what I'm, kind of what my brain is thinking at the moment. So, I do have, let me grab it, a medieval mirage here. That what if I, it's a good size I think. I'm not gonna, not gonna distress it because I think it's gonna get covered up, some of it. Did I tell you? No, I, I don't think I have because I haven't filmed since then. Went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. That was really fun. Mike took me because I still can't drive and um, I had to go to the post office so I went to the post office and then I said to Mike he kind of need a few things at Hobby Lobby do you think it would be okay if I went to Hobby Lobby and he goes yeah do you mind if I come with you I was like okay <laughs> I don't know if you guys experience this, but shopping with my husband, it makes me feel rushed. And, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? I can put that there. Um, it makes me feel rushed. He doesn't, he doesn't say anything or anything. It's just all kind of in my own head, I think. But, um, So, anyway, but it was better than nothing. And I was all masked up, and like I told you before, I felt early on even, I felt very safe in Hobby Lobby because they are all masked up, very busy cleaning, you know, all that. So, it's a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. Now, maybe I want some music. Wait, this is brittle paper. And this is cool because it's got a fun little number right there. So, yeah, what did I get at Hobby Lobby? I... I did get some more Fabri-Tac because I just wasn't sure when I would get back there again. So I did that instead of ordering it online. I, they had, um, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Paper Studio. They, um, I think I'll tear that a little bit. They had that on sale and so I got some cream card stock which, as you know, was what I used to print my digital ephemera. So maybe kind of like that. Yes, I like it. Um, so I got that. Uh, I got some craft card stock. They had actually, not on sale, but on uh, like clearance, they had... I don't think I'm getting, I feel like I'm not getting glue, guys. Hang on, I gotta get a new glue stick. Okay, now 
we're gonna yeah <laughs> there's some glue right there um anyway it was 12 by 12 craft card stock and it was on clearance and so it was like $4.99 for a giant I don't know 100 probably at least I'm looking up at it it might be even more than that it looks like a lot how's that I think I'm happy with that guys okay so now I want to just clip the corners here corners rounded. The other thing I want to do is go ahead and punch the hole in back in because then when I do the other side, the other side will have the hole and I'll know where it is, if that makes any sense. Okay, my glorious little guy here. Um, again, this is on my favorite things because I love it. I've really, really enjoyed having this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch the hole back in. Okay, good deal. And the other side. Back in there. And I am gonna put an eyelid in there that doesn't have one at the moment, but there's going to be one as we go. So, um, so I got those two card stocks. Uh, oh, I got the, the spool ribbon was on sale and I, I was actually looking for a specific one that I'm almost out of and they didn't have it. So didn't get to get that, but got a couple other things just cause it was half price, you know because that's my mentality <laughs> and then um, okay oh I'm I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy so how do I want to do the front it's gonna take a little working on to get that but that's okay I think I kind of want to work on these two together and then, you know, and then go up the sides with it. So what do I want? Maybe I, maybe I want to use something of Rachel's and or Lulu's. Lulu's kit's one of my favorite all-time kits. Ooh, I'd like to put some embroidery on somewhere, too. That would be fun. Okay. Sorry, I'm just... It's on my lap, but... Oh, I do, I do love this one. I think that's speaking to me because I think Rachel just used it in one of her last videos. <laughs> maybe maybe some of that. I don't know. I'll just put stuff back that I don't use. And there's Lulu's. <clears throat> I like this too. I think those I think those might be Lulu's. I'm not sure. this owl. Look that. Okay, that's enough. Get too many choices and then I won't be able to decide. Okay, let's set that down on the floor. Okay. Okay, so I love that. I love the owl. I think I might like the owl down on this corner, that is what I'm thinking. Let's kind of start with that and go from there. First I'll get the white off. Um, 
yeah, so lace. <laughs> Getting back to Hobby Lobby. What else did I get? Oh, I got it. Tim Holtz was on sale too. And um, I always try to buy some ephemera or something like that. And so I can't remember exactly the ephemeras that I got, but I got a couple little things be just because he was on sale. You know what I think I might go all the way up with that. Okay, I think I have I think I have a plan. Kind of like I did last time and just start with one and go for it. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I'm not even sure I'm going to need to Mod Podge. But on the outside, what I was thinking about is it'll probably slide in and out of my shelves. This, this little folio thing will. And so, I'm thinking I should probably do a little... Um, I don't know, just reinforcing on the, Oops. Okay, what I want to do here, excuse me, I know you're getting the back of the folder, but I want to Snip that and so that I can fold it over the edge. Okay, so there is that. Now I was really kind of wanting to use this. Wouldn't that be nice just across there? And then I can collage stuff down over this straight edge, I think. So I think I'm going to do that. This is so fun. So was I talking about... No, I don't think so. I think that was in my previous video that I just filmed. But I, I'm doing D.D. Fargo's... Don't freak out before Christmas um, challenge. And so after I do this video, I need to do the latest episode of that. And if you're interested at all um, on my Facebook page, my Facebook business page, um, Cinnamon Toast, I'll be uh, posting pictures. I'm not doing the video, I'm not doing videos just because I have so many projects that are half done that we need to get back to and I feel like I just have more than enough subject matter for my videos. I just, so, and sometimes it's nice to just craft on your own, you know, and just watch someone else's video while you're crafting or something like that, you know. Not that I do that very often, but when I do get a chance to, I mean, usually I'm watching videos before I go to sleep at night. Okay, okay, and then, remember how I said I loved these? What if we ran those kind of along there? That would be nice. I'm going to tear this because I, I don't want to, maybe, ah, 
because I don't want a clean edge, which I'm definitely not getting a clean edge. Tomorrow. Oh, I know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to try and get back to the alphabet challenge. I need to see if I can't get that kind of finished up. Um, so let's see. I'll be on the letter X. And I know what I'm going to do. So I'll just get that prepared. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I just need something to go up here. So let's see what we have in our scraps from before. These scraps. Um, and then on Mixed Media Monday, we are going to, we're going to get back to our work on our project for Mixed Media Minnesota. So that's what's coming up, as far as I can tell. Okay. So I want to go here, here, and so I want to go to about here and give it a rip so that it can fold over. I feel like that will maybe give, uh, give that a little extra stability too. Okay, so I need to do this edge and that edge as far as ink and go. Okay, so then, so that'll be fun. Um, I, I'm going to have to definitely going to have to uh, regroup a bit about that project because um, I need to see where we left off. I might have to go back and watch my own video and see where we left off and then, then carry on with it, do some more. Okay, so I want that about there is just fine. Okay, where's my... Oh, I'm so sorry I'm up too high. Up too high or up so high. I'm sorry about both. <laughs> Okay, so the, and then that will go across there. But first we need something here, which I'm feeling a little music. That's not a good piece. I have some other. Let me, let me dig a little. Let me dig for some music. Okay, okay I've got that. and straighten this up a little bit. Okay. Not sure if this needs inking, but I'll ink it in case. In case a bit of it shows. Little Jimmy Joe's just trotting around up there. I can hear his little pitter-patter, pitter-patter. 
Takashi was funny. He was just like, why can't I go see her? <laughs> My daughter was here. It's like, I know, Jimmy, it's hard to understand, but girls don't like dogs jumping on their white pants. <laughs> so, so once my daughter left, we had a, had a bit of a play in the yard. Well, let's be honest, Mike played with him because I'm still not quite up to that yet. Okay, so now I gotta do some cutting because this is always a little tricky. Gosh, you guys, my glasses are driving me bonkers. Um, they slide down my nose. You know how they get loose and I just haven't gone in to have them tightened. We um, actually, our son-in-law is our optometrist and we actually go see him next Friday, which, so I'm hoping to have a little video ahead because we have to drive an hour and a half one way so you know three hours total that day okay that is good now I need a little something down there um and so anyways ooh, how about this is that big enough could be big enough but it doesn't go over the top and I want it to go over the top okay um Anyway, so I have to remember to have them tighten the glasses because with bifocals, you know, you look down the, you kind of look down the bottom and when they slide down, it, it, everything goes out of focus. Super annoying. Super annoying. So... Yeah, that's what was happening when I was trying to fix up that. Okay, so then let's get that on. I hope I haven't been out of frame too much in this video. This is such a big piece to work on, but I also know you guys like to be sort of closer than I had you for probably a couple of years. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to have a little road trip and I thought to myself, you know, I'm not even going to take any fussy cutting or anything I'm just going to look out the window and enjoy the ride because heaven knows we don't get to go anywhere anymore we were talking to our good friends that we have um, I'm gonna go right about there because I want that flower to show um, we've rented a beach house in Brookings, Oregon. A couple of times we've done that and it's just so great. We all just enjoy it so much. It's just very relaxing and awesome. And we we're talking about let's make a plan to do that as soon as all this goofiness is over. Okay, I'm liking it so far guys. Now I have this little bit here that maybe I could put that on there. Actually, I might use this. And don't need to, to ink any of that. Let's see if I'll I'll just cover that up and then we'll get onto the lid. Oh, yep, I do too need to. Right there. Let's see. I 
I'm going to just cut down like that and then cut down like that, fold that over, and then cut this. I'll actually do that and go over the top. Ah, don't stick down. Okay, cut this in a little bit there, a little bit here. Okay, okay, so that one, so that's all covered up now. And so now we need to decide what to do on the outside of our, let's see how we're doing time-wise. Oh good, we still have 20 minutes or so. Feeling like I might like some of this pink, just to kind of tie in some of the pinks. I could go over the edge a little bit, couldn't I? I think this is Vintage Studio 717, if I'm not mistaken. But I could very well be, because... Once they make it into the scrap pile, it's kind of like, ah, uh, <laughs> don't know, don't know. Sometimes you can tell, like Medieval Mirage is very identifiable, but sometimes it's hard to see who's who. Okay. That's a good start. That's a good start. You know what I love, which might be nice up at the top there, is... Paper. I don't know if I have any in my in here. That is um it's like what do I want to say? T uh, typewriter, old typewriter. Okay, I don't have any right there. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna grab some of that. Um, hopefully. Okay, let's find my stuff but here here's some from Rachel that's cool let's have a bit of this so I wanted to ask you guys let me know if you have watched any of the series the Umbrella Academy on Netflix. So Mike and I were kind of looking at that as a possibility for our next thing to watch. So let me know what you think if it's if it's worth watching. Not sure what of this is going to show, but we'll just ink it in case. Yeah, it it looks sort of sort of sci-fi. Some historical stuff in it. I mean, I honestly, I don't know. So, but it looks intriguing to me. So, let me know you guys if you've watched it and if you felt like it was worth your time. Okay, now I think I want some printables here. What do we have on our scraps that we've 
This is pretty. That'd be pretty right there, wouldn't it? Yep. Um, yeah, so that's our, that's our next thought of where to go in our television watching. Oh. Usually this time of year we're outside in the evenings and don't watch much TV, but, um, but like we've had rain and there were a few nights where we just sat outside and enjoyed, but Lord, I feel like I need to put something there because that's kind of, I like that rippy like that. Let's, okay, do one thing at a time, Gail. How's that? Do this side too because I'm not sure. Probably have something covering that up or part of that up. Okay, so where is this piece? So I was thinking of putting that there. And I think I shall. Um, We've been watching Madam Secretary, which I really enjoy. Taya Leone is amazing in that series, I think. And there's giggles in it, you know, every now and again. People she works with do goofy things that make me laugh. And I love that, too. I love a drama that doesn't take itself too seriously, you know. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so well. Cut off that edge because it's got this nice rounding to it, which is lovely. There we go. Okay, then I was thinking of having having this kind of there. I like that a lot. Let's do it. I think I need another blue page already. A lot of gluing, a lot of gluing going on today, peeps. Oh, I slept so good last night. It was so awesome. Doesn't a good night's sleep just make all the difference in the world? I feel like it does. It's just... So we'll go over here with it. Okay, and then what? Then what? Kind of like that there. Except I'll go this way. Have the torn part at the top. Does that look like those flowers are upside down? A little bit, huh? Okay. Well, we have room to do this. Okay. So I woke up though, uh, no, I didn't wake up. I had been watching videos until like about 11 last night. So I wanted to make sure I was good and tired and would just fall right asleep, which I did. But um, I went to the bathroom. I looked out our bathroom window and our one neighbors across the way had a fire going on their deck, which I'm sure they have one of those little, you know, fire pit things, but you know, we live in so many trees. I was like, oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. But I said to myself, do not let that make you stay awake. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, I'm having so much fun with this. Okay, so now what do I want over on the edge? like that because it's brown like the owl. Okay, so let's look at these scraps. 
Ooh, I wanted a doily, didn't I? That'd be a good idea. That'd be a good idea, a doily right there. Yes. Okay. So, where are you, Rachel? They're right here. Just hiding from me. Let me see if I have one that seems like would be good over there. I don't want it to be too, too bright because, oh, I love this one though. That one. Let's see what else we've got. Make this one too. Can't get it out, guys. Sorry. don't know what I want to put there. So I'm sorry, I don't know which kits these are from. Um, something of Rachel's. That might be nice right there. Just cut around, or I mean uh, torn around. I think I like that one. Um, also going to look real quick in Gail Destinelli's file. Let's see if there's something I like better. Because I got doilies in my shop too. Yes, I do. I have some already cut out, which is a plus. Nope, that's it. We're going to use Gail's instead of Rachel. Sorry, Rach. I love them. I'll save it for something else. this little one. I do, I do, I do. And that looks super cute right there. So. Didn't think we'd get this all covered in one, but we're going to be pretty close. So what I might do is kind of finish off the back off camera and then, um, and then I'll show you guys in the next video or something. Okay, so what am I gonna cut off? Like, I'm not gonna have a whole lot left of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue the whole thing. Just make it easier on myself. Got it over too far. Oh, Gail. Such a goofball. What do I have that's little? glad I had to go to the hospital so I could get one of these folders. <laughs> okay. How's our time? Check it. Okay, good. Somebody asked me, um, why do you worry about the time? You know, and I said, I try to keep my videos around an hour. Otherwise, the upload time to YouTube is ridiculous and it takes forever. And so that's why. 
I want to go an hour. I just don't want to go a whole lot over an hour. So, acquiring minds want to know. I can't. So that is why. And it isn't that I'm worried about it. It's just that I'm trying to keep an eye on it so that it doesn't drive me crazy later when I'm trying to upload and it won't go. Okay, so I also want to I want to punch my hole again. So I would say we got a real good start on this. So see, now I can see the hole from this side, which is why I um, went ahead and punched last time. There we go. Maybe we'll just go ahead and put the eyelid in, huh? What color do we want? I'm gonna go ahead and go black. Oh, this is nice. It's kind of like a, I don't know what you call this color. Ah, steel, silver or something. Having trouble getting one out, guys. Sorry, there we go. Yeah, that looks nice. Do that. Perfection. I love this thing. Have I said that lately? Why aren't you going in? Dude. Because I, I guess I... I don't know. Maybe I didn't get it all the way shut. There we go. Okay. So now, let's do a little more ink in. We're gonna have the front done. So happy. And then we'll just have that back to do. I like that I folded over the papers there. I think that's feels really good and strong there. And that's where things are gonna be going in and out all the time. So and if you didn't see that video, what I'm gonna use this for is for my um templates of collage bases, bases of ephemera bases of ephemera pieces and or little folios and things, examples so that I can just pull in if I want something like that and say, oh yeah, I could make this. So it's going to be more or less than an idea folder. So that is it. I love that. I'm looking here going, do I want a label of some sort or something? I don't know if I do, but if I do, I'll get it on there. I will, I will do this part off camera and then I will come and then I will show you once I get that done. I don't know if I'll get it done today or not. So, but I will show you once I get it done. I have such a mess with all my collage pieces. Oh my goodness. So there it is guys. That's, that's my, that's my, uh, painful to playful. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a grateful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.